All right, how we doing, everybody? How's it going? All right. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Murphy, and you're watching the Black Beanie Stream, and today we're going to be playing some Valheim. Uh, there's going to be a couple of growing pains uh, with this because as we're playing it, we got to adjust graphic settings in order to get it to run better. Um, good, got your haircut. Nice. Very nice. Duality, Kyle, Luke. Who else we got in here? Duality clips and then regular duality. Okay. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, we're going to be starting a new game today or going with my regular character. Which would you guys prefer? <laughs> banana. Welcome, Banana. Always good to see you. don't matter well then we're gonna go with my my character and i'll show off my uh my epic house most of today then we are going to be uh <laughs> we're gonna be sailing and we're gonna be sailing a lot oh hey kyle what's the what's the score of the game i can't believe the phillies lost last night i cannot believe that they lost last night Man, 5-5, five, five, bottom of the ninth. Ooh, boy. You think this is going to extra innings? Come on, Phillies. Just one godforsaken hit. That's all you need. Urgh. Urgh. All right. All's eyes needs to knows is how is the quality of the stream? Is it laggy? Is it is it good? Because I turned down a whole bunch of settings, and I just want to make sure that you guys. Harper walked. God bless it. Come on, Harper. I love that boy, but he ain't hitting like he used to. I couldn't stand it when he was playing for the Nationals because he kept beating us with walk-off homers. Drove me nuts. <laughs> What's going on? Uh Okay, anyways, let me let me show you guys what I have here. This is my house. This is my lovely home. I'm wearing troll skin everything. That's my rug. This is my fireplace. That's my cauldron. Fireplace goes all the way through the house. That's my fermenter. Or my fermenter. It's just random thing for ingredients. This is my forge. Random forge supplies. My workbench. Looks like I can repair some stuff. This is one of my storage rooms where I just keep some of the most immediate stuff near me. Got a lot of stones. Here are all my valuables. Some other valuable things from raiding. Seeds. Trophies. Uh, some core wood and some ancient bark from the swamp biome. Some fine wood there. Uh, resin, random junk, and then that's just regular old wood. I've got a decent amount of food. Mainly got meat, got a lot of honey. Maybe because of my bees. But if you go up here, there's my bed. My little bed. How's the stream? Not laggy? Or is it laggy? I must know.
Good, as long as it's not laggy for you guys. Go. Ooh, it might be nighttime now. Yeah, it's getting dark. I should have waited. Alright, let's eat some... Some meat, some honey, and a mushroom. This is my, uh... This is my smelter. I don't have anything to smelt currently. This is my charcoal kiln. You just throw a bunch of wood in there and it turns into coal. I've got three teleporters. Because I've got uh, a bunch of different houses around my map. That's This is all I've managed to explore. Granted, I haven't played in like a month. Um, That's the size of the world. <laughs> George Big, that's the last place I died. Uh, that's There's a swamp biome over there. It's the only one I've managed to find. You have a mountainous biome over here. Uh, I need some kind of frost resistance in order to explore that better. I think there's another one over here. Uh, and I managed to get all the way up to here. I think I can come around like this along the coastline. Uh, I've got a house over here with a boat. My, uh, my sailboat. But yes, uh, the only reason there's something over these stairs is because when it rains, your wood rots, so you need to put a roof over it. Uh, my bees. Got a bunch of bonfires. Uh, they radiate warmth very well. This is my pull cart where I can walk around and carry a bunch of stuff instead of just packing it into my inventory. I know, that's the funny thing. The roof is made of wood. The roof, the roof, the roof is made of wood. There's another little storage area I've got. I haven't filled them up yet. Got some wood there, some wood there, nothing in that, nothing in that. Some fine wood there. Different types of trees give you different types of wood. That sort of thing. Uh, I haven't really figured out what I want to do in here. Or in here. But yeah, each of these... Each of these opens up to the outside. This is the surrounding area. Uh, I wasn't the smartest. This used to be all trees. <laughs> I have since taken care of those. Oh, I think that's what I was doing. I think I was collecting wood up over there. Yeah, there's still some trees that I fell down there. Let's take the axe and go up there and clear them out. Man, I feel like I can barely hear it. Yeah, no wonder. There, can you guys actually hear the game now? Deforestation. Daniel, welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, I chopped down a bunch of trees. I should be using my cart for this. I've got plenty of bronze, I just need to get iron. When you kill the second boss, you get this right here, the Swamp Key. And it doesn't really give you any direction after that as to what the next boss is going to be. And I do not follow guides or watch other people stream this game, so I have no idea what to do. All I know is that a Swamp Key probably has some use in a swamp. And as far as I know, there's iron in swamps. So I need to find a swamp. Oh my goodness, I can't- that render distance is terrible. Godforsaken graylings. Shoot!
They love to attack your house. Ah, nestled by the fire. Nice and warm. Happy bees. The bees are happy, the bees are happy, the bees are happy. Everybody calm down, the bees are happy. If the bees are happy, I'm happy. My only issue with this game is you constantly have to eat. Like, I've never been as hungry in my life as this character is. Let me repair this real fast. So you just walk up into your cart and you can go collect stuff. That's great. That's great. Daniel Jones says, Murphy, my next skyscraper will be the Willis slash Sears Tower. Well, that's good. That's a fun build. The only issue is that this cart, like, drags behind you. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. But yeah, this is the game. <laughs> like, I'm sure there's tons of other things that, like, I haven't even come close to figuring out yet. It's a lot like Ark. It's just, you know, you're not going to get your butthole eaten out by a Spinosaurus the second you freaking start the game. Fight for the kingdom and for all mankind. Money is great, it gives you a really good boost to your health, but man, it just does not last long in your inventory at all. Or in your hunger meter, I should say. Phillies won! Finally! We still lost the series, but whatever. Was this a three-game series? I'm assuming it was a three-game series. Man, being a Phillies fan is just difficult. Although you guys have our old manager, so it's like... Gabe Kapler. Like, whatever. Dude is the most jacked man in baseball.
Guy looks like he eats a whole horse for lunch. He's ridiculous. He's jacked as hell. I was like, what on earth do you do? It's like, you know, the players can't take steroids, but they don't say anything about the manager. There we go. Happy bees. That's the secret to happiness, everybody. If your bees are happy, you're happy. Just repairing my stuff before we actually go out and do stuff. Alright, I've got my bow, I've got plenty of arrows, I've got my spear, pickaxe, I've got a minor healing mead, which uh, I made using that right there. Which of these has my resin? There we go. Okay. I think I'm good enough to go out and... Yeah, I don't have a lot of bronze. I was going to make some bronze armor, but it's just so heavy. And I always like to carry a bunch of weapons as opposed to just, like, one or two weapons. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> the secret to happiness is beans. Happy beans. All right, so this is my island house. Is my boat here? Yes, okay. You'll see I have a wall here because this is a dangerous area. This is the black forest biome there, and then you have the swamp biome over there. The swamp biome being especially dangerous. The enemies there are ridiculous. Um, yeah, I've just got like a little baby house. Really nothing complicated. Yeah, just some random stuff. Really nothing crazy. And right, I'll set this as my spawn point. And then, um... We'll hop in the boat and we'll see where we can go. Beans. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, what is that chickering over there in the distance? I can hear it. All right. Off. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Destroying my boat just by being in it. Uh. All right. So where should we go? I think I made my way around this side of the island right there. So I think if I continue down here, I might find another swamp biome. Let loose the sail! And we're off. I'm going on an adventure! With the sun at our backs. How many biomes are there? I have no idea. 
Like, I may have played this game around the time that it got popular, but, like, I did not get very far. So I'm not entirely clear on all of the various ins and outs of the game. Wom 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 wom. Got to avoid that rock. <laughs> I have found the grasslands biome, black forest biome, swamp biome, and the mountain biome. The mountain biome is the only one that I haven't been able to explore because I don't have a frost resistance potion. I'm not necessarily sure what I need to get in there, but maybe I just need like a thicker, like, outfit or something. But from what I understand, you need like a special potion in order to not die in the cold. So hungry all the time. Could be in the middle of a fight and he's like, Oh, I want some blueberries. Or he's a Norseman, so he's like, oh, I want some blueberries. I don't know how a Viking would talk. Yeah, we are the Vikings. But yeah, this is all I've been doing. Well, the last couple of times I played, this was all I was doing. Uh, you gotta look for trees that look like that. Like, no leaves or anything on them, just spiny branches. Because uh, that means it's a swamp biome. Oh, an island! If watching gameplays of Raft have taught me anything... <coughs> it's that an island is always a good idea. Food eating disorder? You might. Ooh, there's some stuff on here I've never seen before. What are those things? I'm gonna Tokyo Drift it! Ah! True! Oh, man. Real gamer move right there. Okay. What are you? Abyssal Barnacle. That did nothing. Ah! Guys, having a pickaxe is the best damn thing in the world. I don't know what this is. I'm going to hit it. And see what comes out of it. Stay right there, boat. Don't you go anywhere. I think my boat is getting a little further away. So we're going to need to make sure that we don't waste too much time up here collecting barnacles. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'd like a strawberry. What on earth was that noise? <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. 
Oh! Oh! Eh. 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 I need to get into my boat. Where's the ladder? Oh. What on earth? Was that island alive? Oh my god, that was crazy. I just wanted some barnacles. He was like... <laughs> And just decided to descend into the depths of the ocean. Wow. Okay. And we journey onward. Get back closer to shore so I can actually map out. Um. Was that a stool dummy? That was crazy. I was really hoping to get some barnacles. I think I got a few. Or just... Chiden, Chiden, whatever it's called. A shard of crustacean shell. Whatever. Uh, there's, okay, so you guys see on the right side of the screen, there's like this little circle with the boat symbol in it. Um, that tells you which direction the air is, or the wind is blowing. So, it's, the wind needs to be at your back in order to use the sail. Otherwise, you just kind of have to or like you need to wait for that symbol to turn white in order to use the sail. Otherwise, it's uh, not too great. And that right there is like a dungeon. So we're going to go in there and ooh. There's something over there. Oh god. Oh sweet Jesus, that's a troll. Back. 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 Oh! Ah! Well, something tells me, <laughs> yeah, he was not happy. He was, <laughs> and then he killed me. And like most uh, games like this, leaves all of your stuff behind. So how far away were we? Oh, just uh, hop, skip, and jump through the woods there. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, do I have anything in my inventory right now? No. No. Alright, we're practically naked, and we're just gonna sprint through the woods. I need to go get my junk back. I had a lot of bronze. Maybe he didn't like the fact I was wearing troll leather. I know I'd be upset. No, no. Okay, we just have to avoid the big, ugly troll and the swamp biome because it is very deadly. Ah! All right. There's my boat. I can see it from here. And 
and he's still attacking it. That's wonderful. Please stop attacking my boat. Such an asshole. My little token. It's like a gravestone that you go up and collect your stuff. It's in the water. This is not going to be easy. Oh, for Christ's sake. Balls! Put your clothes back on! <laughs> Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do against this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some meat. I can probably get a good shot off by just doing this. He's a big boy. He is a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy and he's not happy. Not happy. He is not happy. But that's okay, I think. Look at that big old butt. Did you see his butt? Look at him big beefy cheeks. Those blue beefy cheeks. My goodness. How comfortable do you think he is sitting on the crapper? <laughs> really? Okay, well, the troll hasn't killed me, but I'm also out of boat, so... Crap. But at least we got my things back. Oh, for the love of Christ. Don't tell me you're going to come back. All right, staggered. Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. That's revenge for my boat, you big furry, bald-butted bastard. What is that? Stone? I don't need a stone. Is that off Iowa? That song that you're quoting there? 
I can't remember which song that is. Is that, uh... Nope, can't remember. Destroy. All right, well, this is where he came out of, and where he unceremoniously destroyed my boat. Uh, so let's see what was in his stuff. Either that, or there's another troll in the troll cave. Which there is, but it's a much weaker troll. Yeah, much weaker troll. But the beauty of that is, like, you can just keep running in and out of this thing here before he hits you. And then you're good. Heretic Anthem. Oh, so was, that's right. Three, five, 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 I'm six, six, six. Is there anything in my inventory I can get rid of? Bronze nails. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to come back in here. That's all you got to do. You just kind of keep going in, coming out. Where'd you go, baby? Sorry, baby. Poof. Gimme, 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 gimme. I don't think I have any... Like a light source or anything. Troll hide. Coins. Troll hide, troll hide, troll hide. And the coins... Pick those up. All right, now I can just... Get rid of a whole bunch of junk that's in my inventory that I don't need. Alright, we gotta make our way back to safety. Uh, because it is getting dark, and I don't feel like being stuck out here. I also have to rebuild my boat, because my big stupid brain was like, oh. Let me just hop into the slowest moving thing in this game when a troll is attacking me instead of just running away, leading it away. And then getting back in the boat. I don't need resin either, get out of here. You know, Carnifex did a pretty decent cover of the Heretic Anthem. It's not as good, but it is pretty good. They just don't have Corey Taylor's vocals. And to be entirely honest, like, if it wasn't... Like, Corey Taylor's vocals make Slipknot. Because, like, Carnifex sounds almost exactly like them. Like, they managed to emulate the sound of, like, the guitars and the rhythm section really well in their cover. Granted, they don't have, like, the electronics, like, the synths and all that stuff. And, you know, the massive percussion area. Um, but when they start to sing, or scream, rather, it just, it's like, mm, doesn't sound as good. Don't sound as good as Slipknot, do. The hell am I hearing right now? Yeah, this is a bad area. You do not want to be in a swamp when it's nighttime. Ah. <sighs> Oh, 
Poisoned. Ugh. I don't know where everybody else is. I ask him. Goodness, get away. All of you creepy crawlies. Grey dwarf shamans. Trolls. It's a formidable world. Uh. Formidable. I'm going home. I'm so upset. I am so upset. I lost my boat. That was my favorite boat. Uh, how are the bees doing? The bees are sleeping. There you go, bees. Right? Rest in peace, boat. I'm gonna miss my boat. Store up all my cash. This leather away. Don't need that. Got tons of troll leather. Man, I don't even know what to do with it all. And this is, I'm assuming, something to craft with? Is there anything new? Ooze bomb. Ooze, leather, and resin. Okay. Is there anything that's new? Abyssal razor. <gasps> Ooh, a knife from the deep. So that must have been some kind of... Some kind of deep sea creature that it was like sunbathing up top. Interesting. Abyssal harpoon. Is that it? Is that all I can make with that? Hmm. I mean, Carnifex is pretty good. Their song Collaborating Like Killers is one of my favorite. One of my favorites, I should say. Let's put those bones in there. A bunch of bronze nails for some reason. Don't know why I have all those in my inventory. A queen bee? What are you doing in here? Rage dwarf eyes. I'll go ahead and put those in there too. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else I can do right now? I'm gonna sleep and then when I wake up, I am going to try like hell to get my boat back. Ziggy! Ziggy, you missed it. A troll killed me. And then destroyed my boat. I had to sit back and watch as it happened. It's a carve, so I need 30 fine wood, 10 deer hide, 20 resin, 80 bronze nails. Okay. 
Okay, so the troll destroying my boat must be why I had all that in my inventory. So let's get that. I need resin. Where did I put it? Resin. I need fine wood. I am about to sneeze again. <coughs> I am okay. What else did I need? Bronze nails. <laughs> I am one pound overweight. It's fine. I'll be able to make it to my waterfront home. Which is through this portal. Yes, the blue monster. That was, uh... That was the troll. Ah. There we go. The boat is back. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also have coffee. I tend to have everything all at once. Actually, no, I need to go in there. Put this leather back. This resin back. Bronze nails and fine wood. Okay, and now we can go back on our boat and go and go, you know, playing again. Oh, for God's sakes, I can't stand getting updates on Twitter for no damn reason. And also paying for car insurance. All right, let's get out of here. Welcome back, Kyle. Bodie's back. Is that what we should name it? I'm pretty sure I can, like, rename things. Can I? Yeah, doesn't look like it. Built a lot of stuff. More or less. And finally make banners and signs and stuff. But. Okay. That's where I died. So we just need to make our way back around. I'll tell you what, what happens if we go the other direction? Because that's the, that's the other continent over there. Right here. Let's go this direction. And then go south with the wind at our back. Car insurance is stupid expensive. Because how car insurance works normally is you pick like... You set up a policy. Uh, I have a six-month policy that has different things that it covers. Um, now, I could go back and I could, like, change up my policy and stuff. I don't know as much about it as I should. <laughs> but, yeah, you basically, like, you set up all the different types of coverages that you want, and different states will have different requirements uh, for what type of coverages you need. Um... And then there's like, they've got like a million and one different little things in there. But it's like, I have a six month policy. So the six month policy costs like a couple hundred dollars. It's more than a couple hundred dollars. And then every month you pay a certain amount down on that. So it's like the total policy costs just 
hypothetically a thousand dollars like say you get a 10 month policy and it's a thousand dollars you get all the coverages that you want like the deduct like blah 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 but every month for 10 months you pay a hundred dollars a month and that's just an example i would imagine health insurance is similar But yeah, insurance is a is a right pain in the ass. Especially if you're a good driver like me. I don't mean good as in skilled, I mean good as in like obedient and I don't drive recklessly and all that stuff. Like I don't speed, I don't have any tickets. Man, I imagine everything is better <laughs> in Canada. Oh, you got some ice cream? Lucky. One ice cream. Naval, welcome. This is Valheim. We are in the Viking afterlife. Right now we're just cruising. I'm trying to fill in the gaps in the map. That's the map. But really, I'm just after a swamp biome. That's what I'm trying to find more than anything. And you'll know a swamp biome when you see it. Hey, Ethan, welcome. Yeah, it's just one of those things that in America we just don't have guaranteed health insurance. There's no socialized medicine up here or down here. There should be, but there isn't. Uh, I can't wait till I unlock like a big ship. How much is what? Yeah, dude, it really is. If you like break your arm here and you don't have health insurance and you go to the hospital like you could pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars like this country punishes you for being poor by charging you more money than you have and yet if you're very wealthy you never have to pay for anything <laughs> it's it's insane like america is so ass backwards on so many things it's ridiculous how much is the game? Uh, I think it's 20 bucks. Can I get out through there? Yes. I'm just trying to find the coastline of this continent that I'm circling. It looks more like an island rather than a continent. Like, excuse me, I need to pause this game, stop everything I'm doing so I can eat a blueberry. Ah. <sighs> 
Um, oof. Doesn't sound good. Boy, wasn't paying a lot of attention there. What's my health on the ship looking like? Ah, we're fine. The wind changed. I'm gonna go up this way. There we go. Now we're gonna get flying. But that's the thing, like, health, like, someone's health shouldn't be a political statement. Like, how is that a political statement? Like, politics is law and, like, policy. Like, health, being able to go to the doctor and get, like, a cast for your arm or get a shot or get medicine, like, it's just, that should not be a political thing. But... Certain people in the country are like, oh, no, it needs to be a political thing. And it's like, okay, whatever. Whatever. It'll happen one day. It's just not going to happen anytime soon. Things are trending in the right direction, though. Uh, where am I from? I am from where I am. <laughs> Good old U.S. of A. Delaware, to be more specific. And there is, uh... Nothing particularly noteworthy about that state. Aside from that's where Joe Biden was, uh... Senator for so long. have to get serious we're just playing a video game we're just playing a game let's change direction sure of course of course You're building Pasadena in California. <laughs> Why did it put a question mark? Well, I don't know. I don't know at all. Turn. Everyone who's just showing up now, you missed it when I, like, hopped on what I thought was an island. Started using a pickaxe to get these, like, barnacle-looking things. To bust them up, and then the island came to life and drifted into the, the bottom of the ocean. It was terrifying. Alright, looks like we found the connecting point for this little continent here. This island. So, I guess all that's left is to just keep going where the wind takes us. I need iron. And the only way to get iron is to find a swamp biome that has some kind of dungeon in it that I can use this swamp key on. You kill the elder and you get this, the swamp key. And the only way you can use the swamp key is to go to a swamp. And the only swamp I've been in didn't have any use for the key. So... I did not turn my house. I did not. Hey, Vsauce. Johan, welcome. Good to see you. Welcome. What do you do with a drunken Viking? I 
God almighty. This guy has an insatiable appetite for blueberries and strawberries. Talk to the swamp thing, he'll give you the key. <laughs> I have the key, I just need to find a swamp to use it in. Ah. I want to unlock fishing. One of my favorite things to do in video games, period, is to fish. Whoa. Are those mountains in the distance? Those look like mountains in the distance. That was a swamp biome over there. You see those scraggly looking trees, but I've already explored that and there was nothing in there. Fishy. Fishy, fishy. Majestic indeed. I think I should go this way. Because one thing, like, this is where, I, like, the game started for me right here, and I have yet to explore the full coastline of my starter island. So I kind of want to do that. Even though there's a lot of it. Godforsaken rocks. I also desperately wish there was a first-person mode in this game. Yar! We be floating on the seven seas. Yar! You get gold yet? Like, have I found gold in the game? Yeah. Dude, I know! Like, once Shanghai Tower is done, like, I'm seriously considering not making another tutorial until the update. Oh no! The wind! There's my other house right over there. This is the island. Ah, it's too far away. I'm too impatient. I want the wind at my back. You best start believing in ghost tales. You're in one. Yeah, dude, start it up. Start it up. Do what you gotta do. If I were a, like a, like some freak millionaire, like Mr. Beast or something like that, like I would buy all of you a PS5 and then... Or no, I would buy all of you guys, like, a gaming PC. I would buy all the parts. I would build them myself so I know that they were in good condition. And that everything would work. And then all we would have to do is play Minecraft all day. I mean, you guys would have to, like, do whatever you gotta do in your own lives. But I would reward all of you for your viewership with delicious PCs. Unfortunately, we not have the treasure yet. Right. Colonialism Simulator 2021? No! This is Viking Afterlife Simulator. Alright, I'm not trying to rush into some place that I haven't been yet, but... Ah, uh, a lot of lovely little eyeballs sticking up out of the water right there. Those are called necks. Don't ask me why, it's just what they're called. I really hope this goes all the way through the island because I am not about getting my boat stuck.
I am freezing. No, that's terrible. That's bad. No, I can't be freezing. Oh, that's that's so bad. Oh, God, thank goodness. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, mountain biome right there. Like, I can feel cold and be just fine, but freezing will kill you. The French exploring Canada colorized. <laughs> Get back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how this game works. Oh, uh, now I'm wet. Oh, I haven't seen that type of tree before. Interesting. Ooh, if I can hardly see. I'm not trying to run aground out here. There be fog. Land ho, starboard. Whoa, about to run aground. Ah. The seas be toiling and troubling. Turbulent ye be. Meadows is just one of the types of biomes. But it's the safest one. Except for the bad guys that live in it. Oh, for God's sakes. Enough with you graylings. You're so annoying. Was that? Something's going on over there. I want no part in it. God sakes. Die! Yar! Ye be swashbuckling with the best of them.
Yep, there's a whole lot of crafting in this game, which is uh, <laughs> one of the reasons I like it. Need more wood. literally just need a bed <laughs> all i need right now i just need more wood and i'll be good Alexander, welcome! And Luke, welcome back. Are there rocks? Do I have rocks? Yes, I do. And build a bed. And I can make... Not a bonfire, but... Okay, I need another rock. <laughs> I just need a rock. That's it. Okay. Although it is raining, so I'm going to do something a little different instead. We are going... To do this. Do 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 It is so hard to see. But I can see. There we go. All right, and the smoke should go out of there. Like if you're in too close proximity to um fire and smoke like you'll get smoked out uh which basically just means that um you're like suffocating from inhaling the smoke that's it i cannot sleep at this time are you f freaking kidding me i did all of that work just for the game to tell me that i can't go to sleep <laughs> Ugh, frustrating Either way, I've got a mini spawn point now. So, that's good. It's more wood. Ah! 
The rain be going sky. <laughs> the rain be going sideways, Captain Yar. 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 Cannot sleep. It's so annoying. All right, so we are going to do this. Me cabin be filling with smoke. Yar. Yar, we be inhaling the fumes. Yar. It'll clear out. You just gotta give it a sec. We be needing a door. Yar. There we be fine here. And I can add fuel to that fire there. Why can I not sleep? Is the only reason I set this up. Yar! Yo ho ho, it's the pirate's life for me. Pirates! I will give zero dollars if you say bean ten times. Well, if you're not gonna pay me. Yar, you piece of crap. You piece of crap, yar! <laughs> the storm be getting too intense, Captain! We need more supplies! That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. So it would seem. The skies be clear! The wind true, the sea calm. Yar. Farewell, little shanty. I hardly knew ye. It's always nice to have a house everywhere you go. Yeah, that right there, see that little white on the map? That was the uh, freezing area. All right, well. Well, that's just a stool. That is not the rudder. Farewell, seaside hut. Evening, Captain. Yar. We be setting sail. Got like a little inlet right there. 
It's kind of cool. I don't know where this game is set. I mean, it's just called Valheim. All the fluffy clouds in the blue sky. <laughs> Why are you a pirate? There's no one to raid. Actually, Brittany Smalls is streaming right now. I think she's still streaming on Twitch. So if we're going to raid anybody, we're going to raid her. Yer. I be a Viking pirate. Pirates. David Jones Locker. We ain't got much in the way of wind supporting us. Pirates versus Vikings, who would win? Ooh. I mean, both have done their fair share of pillaging. I'm pretty sure the Vikings would take it. Murphy the Brutal of Valheim. Yar. We be the Brutal of Valheim. Yar. Not since the fabled Blackbeard has there been a scourge of the Seven Seas. In this realm or the next. Yar. <laughs> Bless you, Yar. Ye be sneezing up a storm. He's going insane. Yes. What's a pirate's favorite fast food restaurant? It appears I've discovered a new biome. Plains. Oh my, everything got like purple tinged. It's happening right now. Oh yeah, what's what's a pirate's favorite fast food restaurant? Arby's. <laughs> Close second be Long John Silver's. This is a brand new biome. I've never seen this before. Planes. I'll tell you what. I'm going to park my boat a pretty good distance away from whatever those things are over there. I'm going to run aground gently. And we're going to poke our nose into someone else's business. That looks like a mosquito. Would be ye. Oh, balls. Oh! He lit me on fire! Ye be joking. Ye be joking. <laughs> Yar. <laughs> Yar. 
Here we be a bit further away than, uh... We're really far away from my stuff. Oh, balls. Don't have time for you! Give me your innards! I need sustenance, yar! Four! You be trying me patience, matey. Did you give me meat? No, just one leather scrap. Useless. Absolutely useless. Yar. We be needin' to feed. Raspberries will do kindly. Yar. Uh, hi, I'm a cow, Mumo. It's like a little hut. With no resources. Food. There we go. I need to cook it in order to eat it. That's fantastic. Fantastic. I need to find some food. Raspberries or mushrooms or something. Like nothing. You are wet. Wow, thanks. You're the sky be a cry and the tears of sorrow. The thousand sailors' squalid dreams dying out at sea. Be washing down upon ye. It's always good to check in these abandoned hut-looking things for a box of supplies, maybe? No, but we are sheltered. Uh, so that's something, I guess. Yar. <sighs> We're getting there. Another place right over there. Might be something to eat. I just need like mushrooms or something. Mushrooms, honey, anything. I need to have like three things in my stomach in order for my health bar to go up further. There we go. Uh, okay. Cash, feathers, and amber. Lovely. Things I cannot eat. Right, we died right over there. Gotta find a way to get across that doesn't involve swimming for a prolonged period of time. And you got necks right over there. 
Screw it. Come on, you can make it. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, 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 come on. Close one. Stop, you dumb deer. I gotta wait until my health or my. Okay. Nope. So much for waiting. Don't tell me they burned my boat! Ah! <sighs> you must go for your sanity. Okay, we'll catch you later. <sighs> Yar. Yar, we be dying again. Yar. Oh my god, stop raining! <laughs> okay, so the ocean is just gonna show up and flood my house. No! Ow! Oh! Ugh. Womp womp. Valheim be a tough place to live. Be a tough place for a pirate. Here by the fire. They tell you of a story of an old pirate. An old swashbuckler wanted by the Spanish Armada. By the name of One-Eyed Willie. Yar, he may be the greatest pirate of them all. Yar. Me feel cold, burr. Yar. So stupid. Like, I really just need to get my crap back. It says the gods are merciful, and it's like, are they, though? Because I kind of need my stuff back, and they keep killing me, yarr. They burned my boat. Like, who does that? Why burn my boat? It's my only boat. Even though I can go over there, get all my materials back. It's just frustrating. I thought the plains biome would be fine. Imagine if they made a realistic survival game where days were 24 hours and stuff and you gotta survive against IRL beat. That'd be pretty tough. I'm pretty sure they've, they've done something like that. They had to have, you know? This garbage leather butt nonsense out of my backpack. What I need are raspberries and mushrooms. Stuff to eat. I need my things. Ketchup! Yer. Eating a burger with no honey mustard, eating a burger with no honey mustard, eating a burger with no honey mustard. I know. Honey mustard's tasty. It'd be a delicious compliment. Compliment. Condiment. Yer. Ye be walking a mighty thin plank. Yer. Hey, Ozzy, how's it going? We're playing Valheim. I've died twice in a row, and 
I just want to get my stuff back, and the game is like, no, we're going to have this mosquito kill you. And I'm like, oh, fantastic. That's my favorite thing ever. We had a boat, um, but they burned it down. The evil little things on this tiny little island here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Whew. That was close. So as you can see, we are very close to where I died, but this plains biome that I'm about to walk into is incredibly difficult. I got zipped one time by a bug and it killed me. I am not particularly high level. God bless. There it is again. Ignore this grayling. The graylings are dumb. There are multiple little buzzy boys. The hell am I looking at over there in the distance? Huh. Anyways. Uh, okay, we're just gonna try for it, because I really just, I don't need to do much. I just need to get to my headstone. The first gravestone. There it is! Ah! I keep getting very close. It was it was the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes. You're the bugs of the ocean. They be putting up a might or a, a right mighty fight. You're. This be what we're gonna do. Draugr? Seriously? Some of the hardest enemies are just chilling here? The hell out of here! What? Ah! What do you do with a drunken sailor? Run your ass off into the woods. Okay. They are no longer aggro, but that was ridiculous. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I could try swimming to it, but like your your stamina meter depends on how much food you have in your in your tum tums. And I don't have much food in my tums. If I could just make it back to my actual house, which is right up over here. Actually, if I can make it to here, I have a portal set up right there. I also have a portal set up right here. If I could get across this somehow, then we'd be fine. Because I'd be able to teleport back to my main base and then just rebuild all my stuff. Or at least just get enough stuff so I can go back out there with a new boat and then, you know, not die. I'm going to cross this area here. It's fine. The shortest... You are wet. Okay. It's good to know. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Swim for your life! Ah! 
All I wanted to do since starting the stream today was find iron. That's that's it. It's the only thing I wanted to do. And so far, I haven't found another swamp biome. I did find a plains biome. Wherein everything wants to kill me. Surprise, surprise. Uh, there's no chest in there with any goodies in it, of course. I have a house right over there. If I can find a way to get there... I'm dying. There must be a way. That's it. Right over there. Try to stay to the shallows, and then when the tide goes down, stand here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Just recover, 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 recover. Let's get on the rock. Right, we're recovering. I don't know why I'm in the jumping animation. Come on, 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 come on. On the rock! Come on! There we go. Sideways swimming fish down there. Okay, we go to this rock. Maybe over here? Come on. There we go. Okay. Now we have to avoid Draugr and Graylings, that being a- or sorry, Grey Dwarfs. I did not think we were going to make that. <laughs> I did not think we were going to make it, but we did, so that's good. There's my little house. One of them, anyways. Christ. Do I have any food in here? Anything? No, but I've got a fire. Ugh. I don't know if I have enough bronze nails to make another boat. Ah, crud. Alright, either way, let's sleep. Set the spawn point. Because I gotta go back and get my swamp key. Fate, every piece of food meets at Oracle Park. Pfft. Death. Alright, I've got enough to...
All right, I think I've got enough stuff in here to make some new troll leather stuff. There, so at least now I'm not cold or, you know, completely out of sorts with the environment. How do I upgrade it? <clears throat> Just need troll hide. Just need that and... Oh, no, I'm sitting here crafting the damn things. I don't want to craft on an upgrade. Ah, balls. Useless brain. Right, the only thing I didn't get to upgrade was my troll leather pants. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Can I make a hammer? Yeah. Erg. That is very frustrating. Is there no way I can disassemble these? Yeah. That's too bad. That's just a huge brain fart on my part. Actually, just take these upstairs, put them in my dresser. I'm glad I've got extra weapons just lying around in some of these things. My old weapons, anyways. Rude bow, stone axe, got my flint spear. Jesus. I use flint. Let's use the. Let's not use stone. Let's use the flint axe. And I've got my old shield right there. Okay. Tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to set fire to those dweebs before they can set fire to us. Need flint. Did I have flint in here? Yes, I did. Flint and wood. And I need feathers. Of course I do. I'm going to make some flint head arrows. Because it looks like the... Do I have any racing games? Yeah, I've got some racing games. Uh, none downloaded currently, but I do have them. Missing Flint. All right. Okay, we have some tools. We have some manner to defend ourselves. <sighs> I've got a hoe. I don't have a boat. That's what, like I I do not have a boat. So and I don't have Well, hold on. I might be able to make a boat. How many bronze nails can I make? All right, I've got 80 nails. I can make a boat. I need 
resin, deer hide, and fine wood, all of which I've got. Fine wood, resin, and deer hide. For God's sakes. Let's go make a boat. Anyone ever play full tilt pinball? Like in real life or why did I go here? I don't need to be here. Okay, there we go. Now we are nice and close to where we died. So if we take the waterways out this way, I can come up from behind, jump out of the boat real fast, get my old crap, and skedaddle. But the trolls will get mad at me. Video game called Full Tilt Pinball. No, can't say I have ever played it. I cannot see. Well, that only damaged the very thing I was trying to build. All right, well, that's chilling right there. Let's just drop off everything we don't need inside a little hut. Ooh, okay. I don't have any food. Um, I think I had some food back at the regular place. So I'm going to get a little food. Just a little. How do I make a better bow? Just need fine wood, core wood, and deer hide? That's it? Can you make burgers in this game? Man, I wish. I mean, you probably can. But I just don't know for sure. Alright, that's food. And I can go check the bees for some honey. Uh, you put, like, raw meat on those cooking spits, and then, uh, that'll do its thing. Yep. Honey, honey, and honey. <laughs> Delicious. Alright, let's eat up. All right, let's go get my crap back. I'll tell you what I can probably do. I can probably sit in the boat from a distance and pick them off with the bow. Or at least try to. Ah, rocks are popping up out of nowhere. It's impossible to see them. It's 
damn sail out of the way. I didn't damage it that much. That is seriously the worst I've ever hit rocks. You're gonna change your icon again. <gasps> How dare you. All right, we're moving now. We've got another boat. We're going to get all of our delicious bronze tools back. We're going to get our swamp key back. We're going to kill some dumb looking mosquito things. All right, the seas have calmed. Yer, the seas be calm. And according to the game, I am wet, of course. I've died three times in the same area. I am sick to death of those stupid mosquito things. From which I have almost zero protection. So we're going to stop our boat just offshore. And we're going to try and pick them off with a little, uh, little bow and arrow action. See, that's why I like honey so much, is it gives you a huge boost in your uh, HP. Yer, the seas be made of water. Yer, the watery, watery seas. Ooh, that is watered down. All right, we're getting very close. So where to where we died? To where we have expired? Santa Kid, Santa Kid, yeah, you were here yesterday. How would I not remember you? Yer. All right, there's. I can see my my little doohickeys. That's the important one right there. The two of them that are in the goddamn water.
Okay, they're all the way over there. Christ. Okay. Get rid of all of that garbage that I do not need. And we've got my skeleton key. Or, sorry, my uh, swamp key. Yar, we made it back. Yar, we went back and got our goodies. Don't think there was anything else I needed out of that satchel. Yeah, I think I'm good. What a nightmare, guys! Holy cow! Yer. We be avoiding this place like the plague. From here on out. No more damned mosquitoes. Or shorties with fire. Oh. Finally, I can eat some, like, meat. See, look at, look at my health bar down there at the bottom, or the lower left. Watch how much my health bar is going to go up. It's ridiculous. Like it's, it, I think I maxed out at, like, 36. Watch something good to eat. Meat. Honey. Mushrooms. The diet of a true Viking. Oh, we're out here in the ocean now. Oh, the seas be blowing rough. Yer. The thunder itself be calling me home. We are zooming though. Look how fast we're going. Oh, it's another one of those things! Ooh. You guys think I'll actually be able to get some of the barnacles off of it before it goes away? 
No, it's not a pirate simulator, unfortunately. Though that'd be pretty dope. That music changed, didn't it? But I gotta get some barnacles. Before this big thing wakes up and decides to float away. It's waking up. Back in the boat! Flee! We must flee! Look at that! In the depths we thee. To the inky black abyss with ye. I'm gonna nosh on some honey. Well, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. My home base is like up over here. Or over here. It's either here or here. On the map, this right here, this is what a swamp biome looks like. And I need to find a swamp biome in order to get iron. So. We're just going south, though. Okay. We're in the ocean. Dude, GIF profile pictures would be so dope. I like being able to have one on Discord. You're... Saying yar like 800 times has like destroyed my throat. <laughs> okay, calm seas all the way out here. There be a pale fog in the distance. Obscuring a vision. <laughs> yeah, this is a survival game. It's a lot like Ark.
Land ho! Okay, so here's a land mass of some kind. The best way to figure out what kind of land you're dealing with is to just get close enough for it to appear slightly on the map. And that... Uh, Yardy Sea Rat! You just gotta sail around, get close enough so you can see what kind of... Grim Reaper? Okay. Not creepy at all. This is just kind of float around and then look for scraggly trees on the horizon. Where there be scraggly trees, there be swampies. Yer. We be looking for the scraggliest of trees. Oh my god, I could not imagine that. I could not imagine. And he has distinct, like, vocal styles on every record. Like, the first two albums, he was very much doing a lot of, like, throat screaming. Like, very guttural. Oh, goddamn Brock's. Very guttural, very, like, blood-curdling. Um... But on uh, subliminal verses, he kind of changed up how he screamed. Um, for All Hope is Gone, he went back to that kind of Iowa style, like, really just... Like stones in a metal trash can rumbling around. And then for uh, Grey Chapter and the latest one, he did more of the Subliminal Versus style. Yeah, he had a just crazy, like, unpolished, just screaming his ass. Eddie Van Halen's um, son, I think, is a bass player, and uh, he does a lot of work with um, Mark Tremonti. And a couple solo... I think he just released a solo record, actually. We 
he be charting a course due east. Like this is as close as you can get to being in first person outside of uh, using, like, mods and stuff. And I just think first person would be so good in this game. Of course, I wish just about every game had first person. I think I prefer a first person perspective to a lot of things. Okay, we gotta adjust course here. Land ho yer. We be treading into the shallows. And see land way out in the distance. Now, I agree. That's something that I've always enjoyed about Bungie is they've never felt particularly confined to one point of view. Like, oh, you want a sword? Like, yeah, just third person. It makes more sense that way. Oh, you want to shoot a gun? First person. It's the best way to do it. Funnily enough, it's like you never really feel particularly constrained by the gameplay in Destiny. The gameplay is very free-flowing, very intuitive. Everything just makes sense. The only the, the only deficiencies ever that Destiny had were um, narratively and monetization. The monetization will always be a little sketchy with the Eververse market. Like, it's nowhere near as bad as it was under uh, Activision. Like, I was so sick of having to buy, like, almost a full game price expansion pack every year. No. No. Did it three times with Destiny, with D1, and then twice with D2. Like, no. Like, the expansion passes for D2 were particularly egregious. The very, very, very first one, uh, the first, because it, it launched just like D1 did, where the game came out and then came out late 2014, and then early 2015, it had two expansion passes, House of Wolves and The Dark Below. And the Dark Below had an amazing raid. Uh, Crota's End was really good. Um, it was one of the buggiest damn things you've ever played in your life. Almost as buggy, almost as buggy as Vault of Glass. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun. Like you could you could break yourself out of the map so easily. It was really cool. Um, and it really like leaned into the sword mechanics and made it part of the raid. Uh, and like, it was really good gameplay, like gameplay wise was really, really good. Like introducing Eris Morn, who is one of my favorite characters. Um, and it was fine, but like, it was expensive. Uh, you got like a season pass and you got those two expansions and you, there really wasn't a lot of content aside from, you know, a couple of new missions, a couple like narrative beats and, uh, the new raid. For almost the price of a new game it just didn't really see it didn't really feel good and the majority of it was content that was locked out of the original release of the game 
Like, I remember there were rumors that there was, a like, a room that you could glitch your... Like, you could use the sparrow to glitch yourself into this room and fight a boss. Like, you you basically glitched yourself into a boss room and then you could fight that boss, kill that boss. Um, but as long as you didn't collect any loot, Bungie wouldn't know that you were there. They wouldn't get, like, pinged that you were in an area you weren't supposed to be in and you wouldn't get banned. So you could go in there and fight and kill the guy, but as long as you didn't collect any loot uh, from the, the chest that was by him, you didn't have to worry about anything. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so it was it was really frustrating to play that and to see like and to have to pay for content that was already there. They just locked you out of it, put it behind a paywall and released it later. It was frustrating. Um and then 6 months later, The Taken King comes out for the price of a new game. And it's the same game. It's just an expansion. And granted Taken King was awesome. Loved it. Oh, loved that campaign. It was all Cade centric, like going to the rings of Saturn, onto the Dreadnought. It was just, it was awesome. Like the Taken King is still my favorite piece of Destiny like content. Um, it was still, it was expensive though. And then um, Rise of Iron the following year was anemic to say to say the least. Um, I never played that raid, uh, namely because I didn't really like Rise of Iron. It just, it, it was like a nothing. Like it just re retextured some of the environments there with the SIVA virus or whatever the heck it was called, that computer virus that was affecting stuff. Um, so that was just kind of whatever. I didn't like it that much. A lot of people really liked the raid. I just, I never... Meh. I was kind of soured on Destiny at that point. And then they announced Destiny 2, 2017, and I'm like, well, okay. If you're sure, everybody I know is getting it, so might as well. And then, like, I started getting hyped up for it, because all of my friends were getting really into it. And I was like, you know what? Fine, screw it. I'll play D1 with you guys. When D or I'll play D2 with you guys. And when D2 dropped, we literally stayed up for 72 hours just playing that game. It was so much fun. Um, but you lost all the content from Destiny 1. Like, you lost everything. New tower, new everything. It was... It was fun, but it was like... Ugh. It just left a bad taste in your mouth. Um, especially when you beat the game. And you're just kind of like, okay, well, when does the raid launch? Because right now we're just chilling. Like, there's nothing to do. Like, it was really easy to reach max light. <clears throat> and it's like grinding for, you know, exotics and stuff just didn't quite have that zeal to it yet. Uh, Destiny hadn't, or Bungie hadn't perfected the meta of the game yet. The sandbox still felt kind of janky. Um, but I mean, overall, it was fun. It was a good campaign. Uh, worthy sequels set stuff up. Um, but it felt really anemic because, like, it wasn't integrated with Destiny 1. They didn't do what World of Warcraft does, which is, like, every couple of years release this massive expansion, but you still get to play the original ones. Like, that original content is still there. Destiny 2 didn't do that. And it's like, do you, are you a... Are you an FPS franchise with sequels, or are you an, an MMO? Like, what are you? Like, you need to kind of define what MMO light means. And you could tell that Activision was forcing them to, like, hey, if you want to play this new content, you need to move on and pay more money for this and that. And it just felt really restrictive and really unfair. I'm sorry, Teb. Thank you for checking out the stream, though. But... As Destiny 2 moved on, they did the same thing with the expansion passes. You had uh, the one where you went to Mars. I forget the name of that one. You had Mercury and Mars. And there was Osiris. I can't remember their names, man. What were their names? But those were still really good. I really enjoyed those. 
Um, I really liked Mercury. I hated not being able to use my Sparrow on Mercury, but like the um, the portal that you would go through the Infinite Forest was awesome. I love doing that. Uh, there were a lot of really cool Halloween themed uh, events. Yeah, Trials of Osiris was in both games. Um, but they finally actually, like, introduced Osiris. It was nice. And then, like, all the all the narrative stuff with Osiris and Saint-14 was really cool. Getting uh, Perfect Paradox or something like that, the shotgun, Saint-14 shotgun, was really cool. It's a good shotgun, or at least it used to be. Um... And yeah, and then going to Mars to find uh, What's-Her-Face there was really cool. Uh, Anna Bray. After having, like, teased her, like, teased her presence in the game since Destiny 1. That was really cool. Um, but again, I mean, there were some frustrating elements, because you're like, okay, again, like... I'm paying almost the price of a full game for this expansion pass. Like, if you buy the deluxe edition at launch, you're spending like $120, which is twice the price of a new game, and you're not getting two games worth of content. And once you finish everything, you have to wait for the next week in order to get more content to play because the bounty system wasn't as robust in Destiny 2 when it launched. Oh, yeah, I love Braytech. And I, I loved getting all of that armor and then getting a uh, sleeper simulant or whatever it was called. Um, but yeah, and then the first full thing after Destiny, like the first full expansion Destiny 2 was Forsaken, I think? That was the next one? That was like Destiny 2 Year 2? Yeah, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for Shanghai Tower. It's just a video. So I'm not like doing that right now. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Forsaken, which they killed off Cade, and I was like, okay. And I guess they just, what's-his-face, um, Nathan Fillion, the actor, I guess he just, you know, wasn't able to keep doing the role, which is really sad, because Cade was, like, my favorite character. Um, but yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah, Beyond Light was also pretty good. Um, Beyond Light has been a lot of fun. It's just, like, they kicked Activision. They, they're they independent now, free of Activision, which is good. Um, you know, the monetization isn't quite as wacky, but Destiny 2 has so much content now that they're like, okay, well, we're going to cut out some of the playable areas, like, you know, some of my personal favorite areas, like, you can't go to anymore. Um, I don't give a crap that you can't go to IO anymore. Like, there, there was nothing cool on that planet anyways. Um, I like that you can still go to the exclusion zone on Earth. Um, I just, like, Titan was one of my favorite places. Like, there was so much lore about Titan, and, like... <sighs> I don't know, it was just really frustrating. That they they cut out a lot of this stuff. They couldn't find a better use for it. So they're like, sorry, we just got to cut some of this stuff out. Um, I don't know if you can still go to Mercury. I don't think you can. Can you still go to Mercury and Mars? I don't think so. Yeah, Titan was awesome. I love that planet. I am so bored. <laughs> Like, so bored of just sailing around. And we're talking about Destiny so much right now. Yeah, no more Mercury, no more Mars. Frustrating. I might exit out of this and go play Destiny. <laughs> I might do that. Everybody who's watching right now, should I keep trying to hunt for iron in this game? Or should I go play Destiny? Destiny. 
sound off in the comments down below. Yeah, I'll still stream it tomorrow. I haven't played Destiny in... Like, I played it when it first came out, and... I picked it up again a couple years ago, but even then, that was like five years ago. What did I say? You were in the bathroom. Do we want to play... Do we want to keep searching for iron in this game by swimming around continents and circles uh, until we find a swamp biome? Or do we want to play Destiny 2? Which is fast-paced and exciting. Welcome back, Ethan. We are discussing whether or not we want to keep playing this or if we want to skip over to Destiny 2. All right, well, it doesn't matter to everybody. If it don't matter... Keeps buffering? How about now? Is it better now? It's okay, it's buffering for me, too. Remember, it could be my internet, because uh, it says excellent connection, but you never know. Boy, I wonder what time it is. Ah. That's the good stuff. Yeah, I'm sad Rody's not here for the, to see that. Hydration time. Uh. He better be happy. That damn dog. All right, if anyone is joining us right now, I see the view count went up just by a smidge. Um, we have stopped playing Valheim because uh, we're a little bored. Uh, and we are... What time are you starting another stream? Uh, tomorrow. I'm just going to hop right into Destiny 2 right now. If that's all right with you guys. Guardian games are back. Can't say I've ever participated in Guardian games. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play some Destiny 2. Um, uh, might turn the settings, like, way down so it streams better. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna take a little break, because we've been streaming for about 2 hours and 40 minutes. Uh, it will not be a long break, I'm just gonna grab a quick snack and use the bathroom. And if you guys hang on for a little bit, I'll be right back. Yeah. And we'll get started with some Destiny 2! Mm, Teb, don't you worry about it. Just hang on, guys. I won't be gone for very long. I promise.
All right, I'm back. I uh, <laughs> started picking at the uh, remains of my uh, rotisserie chicken in the kitchen. It was good. So good. All right. Uh, I tried starting up. Destiny 2 just as <laughs> we ate the whole chicken. I mean, it's only like this big. Like, it's not very big. Um, do I think Minecraft is good? Yeah, I play Minecraft all the time. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to start up Destiny 2, but I was having a bit of an issue. So, um, I'm going to open up GeForce Experience and I'm going to see what resolution it's set at, but you're just going to be looking at my face for a bit because um, I don't want to give you guys any personal information about my computer. <laughs> so, it'll, it'll just be a sec. Uh, ooh. So you guys can just sit here and chill with me for a bit. Just look at my face. Just look at my face. All right. <laughs> Hello. Hello, indeed. What on earth? How is OBS? It, never mind. I'm not even going to bring it up. Where is Destiny 2? Dare you be. Why are you set at godforsaken 4K? This is not a 4K display. It has support for 8K? Are you kidding me? Why? It's so bizarre. Okay, anyways, it's set to 1440p now. Which is what my monitor is. Yeah, I want 8K? Like, why? Who the hell has an 8K monitor? Man. That's just bizarre. All right, uh, let's try and open up Destiny 2 now. Please, I don't want my whole screen freaking out again. Also, there was something floating in one of my drinks, and I'm just kind of like... Not gonna drink that now. Come on, Destiny was taking so long. There we go. Yeah, I'm just like, what on earth? What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know who, like, I don't even think they make 8K monitors. I know they make 5K monitors. But 8K monitors? Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, they only just came out with an 8K TV. Shader system revamped. On May 11th, the shader system will be revamped where shaders will become permanent unlocks and all shaders and inventories will be removed. Finally! Oh my god! We encourage everyone to dismantle their shaders before May 11th to receive glimmer and legendary shards. I'm about to do that. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, let's go play my Titan. Go play my Titan. Guardian Games 2021 to call to competition rings throughout the solar system. Guardians will rise, but only one class will reign supreme. Now this reminds me of the uh, stuff they did for a bit. Anyways. Season 13. Ooh, yay! Love getting all my goodies. Buy season rank? Why would I buy a season rank? That's so silly. Season ends in 19 days? I gotta get to level 119 days? Oh my gosh. You guys think I can do it? Uh, yeah, I completed that. Nice. Battleground Behemoth. Complete the Battleground Behemoth activity on Ness's Powerful Gear Tier 3. Cool. Osiris has been found on the moon. 
Speak with Zavala in the tower to start the festivities in the Guardian games. Uh, do I have... Let me look at my character. Ooh. I'm going to soak that up. Good night. You can do it! Got my false promises assault rifle, which isn't bad. I like my whispering slab a little bit better. This submachine gun's okay. Fusion rifle's garbage. This sniper rifle's okay. Uh, yes, combat bow's not bad. This is one of my favorite guns, period. Trace rifles are awesome. So is Leviathan's Breath. I love this thing. Uh, although this, the Lament, the sword is pretty good. I'd rather chill with the rocket launcher. This is, this thing's okay. That's pretty good. This is fun. Machine guns are completely useless, but it's nice to have them. Let's stick with the rocket launcher. That way I can play around with my trace rifle and have my, uh, combat bow as my primary. I got all the Christus, Christocrine gear decked out in some nice shaders there. Let's see what, uh, shaders do I have? Modification shaders. I still don't understand why you can't dismantle more than one thing at a time. Like, oh, you can dismantle it faster. It's like, yeah, but I should be able to select how much I have. Like, why can't I dismantle more than one at a time? Oy vey. Yeah, you can stop talking and watch me stream. You can do whatever you want. Genotype Null Zero. Do I have that? That doesn't look like it. Metro Silver was one of my favorites. And anything from the Dead Orbit Society is really good. Those goth bastards, they have the best gear. That and anything you get for Iron Banner is dope. I haven't played Iron Banner in so long. It really helps if you have high-powered gear, and I do not, so... Iron Banner just gives you the best stuff. Vice Poison... Ooh, Amalan Camo's good. Amalan Meteor ca uh, Camo's good, too. Gimme my... Legend, Dairy, Shards. Ooh. Temperature wash isn't bad. These are a whole bunch of ones that I, I don't have a lot of... I haven't spent a lot of time with. This stuff right here, New Age uh, Black Armory stuff, that's what I'm currently wearing. Love it. So good. What does Buffer Overflow look like? Yeah, a lot of copper, a lot of blue. I don't know where the blue's coming from. That's not in the overview there. Iron Oxide. Um, Iron Banner. Camo. Back from the Osiris days. Gracious me. This is Destiny 2 Year 1. Oh, this one's good right here. Lawful Neutral. Show it to you in a second. Oh yeah, Metro Shift right there. That's another one of my absolute all-time favorites. I really do love Destiny. Like, I love it so much. I just... Used to have a lot of friends who played it. And... It's just been a long time since they've been around. Yeah, Metro Shift. Love this shader. Blue, black, and silver. Tell me that doesn't look dope as hell. Uh, atmospheric Glow is probably cool, too. Yeah, ooh, that looks so good. Look at the bow. And my Titan Mark. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm. Polished Sea Stone. That's yeah, not bad.
Iridescent coral. Ooh, too shiny. Sweet chili Doritos, those are good. Atlantic Rush. <laughs> I look like a Power Ranger. Gross. Metropolitan Acoustics? That's not bad. It's a Forsaken one. And Basalt Toxic. Ooh, that one looks good. Any of the like blacks and greens are really good. All right, we got glimmer, we got shards. Good for us. <laughs> got two things on the tower we need to check out. Guardian Games strikes Titan. Why does it keep telling me to go there? I've checked that out like eight million times. Got a lot of stuff. All right. Let's go get some bounties and hop in some strikes. When we get to the tower here, I'll see if I have uh, genotype null zero. Aww. I love those strikes. How's that performing for you guys? Do I need to lower the graphics a little bit? Or are we doing okay? Oh, this is fancy! This guy's name is Cocaine Waffles. Oh my god. I remember seeing someone whose uh, handle was Cocaine has zero calories. And I was just like... And... <laughs> True. That is technically correct. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. Yeah. My Prometheus lens 1226. I like it. <clears throat> Heep. Heep. Check my vault. Uh, what do I have in here? Uh, Crucible Lazarite. It's not bad. Crucible Vermilion. That's sexy. Night's Chill. I remember this one being pretty good. Oh. Yeah. We've got Bruised Blush. Not bad. I like the mark. The purple and the black. I'm not a fan of the blue. We got... That's not bad. No, I don't really like the mark. Eh. This one's good right here, Skelegal. I have no idea what it looks like on my character, though. Oh, damn, I should have checked that one out. Gunmetal Marigold. That looks dope. Nice. Uh, Iron Oxide. God, I got so many of these. I played a lot of Iron Banner back in the day. Bloody Tooth? I bet this looks cool. Look at that! That looks so cool! Look at the mark! Nice. I like it. I 
How do I have so many of these? I'm kind of ticked I didn't do the Halloween event last year. Eh, doesn't look bad. Reef made, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Deep Sea Jaunt. Not bad. Ugh, no. Look like a Jolly Rancher. Chaco's Finery. Eh. Dark Fluorescence. That looks pretty cool. It doesn't do much for the armor, but what it does to the weapon looks really cool. Alright, we have 44 steel. That looks cool. We have... Flavetto Core. Eh, not a big fan of that one. Vanguard Metallic. Just look like a big penny. We've got Bold Statements. Ugh. Clouds at Sea. Arctic Dreamscape. Love it. Vanguard Unity. Oof. Mr. Carrot. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I've got a lot of this one. Obviously, I liked it too. Yeah, it looks really good on the weapon I've got there. Feels bad to get rid of all of them, but I mean, it says to get rid of them so you can get your shards. Because otherwise it's just going to get deleted anyways. This is a good one too, Mercury Prophetic. And I miss Mercury! That heroic event was really fun. Oof, that looks gross on this armor. Vanguard Discipline, gross. I just don't like orange. Kairos Black, ni. Nee. Kairos Bronze, eh, not bad. <laughs> I miss Mercury too. Before we lost it. And Dawn and Dusk. Look like a lollipop. The Lord of Wolves. <laughs> Man, Risk Runner. Love that gun. Uh, anyways. Alright. Let's... Adjust these graphics just a bit. Set to custom. I kind of want to just do medium, just so. Actually, set the extra quality to high. We got light shafts, medium, medium. Let's do high for that. Character detail distance. Let's do that high. Environmental detail distance. Keep that at medium. Depth of field. We, I guess, just leave it at high. Motion blur. Wind impulse. Turn off chromatic aberration. And we will apply those changes. And does that... Scared Dog Warrior Vlogs, how's it going? Alright, hopefully that stays stable for you guys, because I'm not trying to sit here and fiddle with that the whole damn time. Okay. 
Battleground Behemoth, Le Legacy, Hunter and Hunted uh, Bounties. Need to get some bounties. We'll visit Banshee. What do you think? Oh, cool. Ooh, what should I get? <laughs> I like Master Word gear, but it's not the best. I don't care so much for it. I'd rather have upgrade modules while I'm still uh, below max light. Calibrate bows, I like that. Scout rifle, <coughs> no. Solar weapon. Sniper rifle, I can do that. Do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Take it easy. For the first time in a long time. We have a moment of respite. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> Lion's Pride. Ooh. Ark. Ark is my favorite. Defeat multiple enemies with a super bows. Super Ark. Finishing striker, it sounds fine. Doodles. Uh, what did he give me? What is this? Whoa, a much better mark. Oh my god. What do you do? Defeating an enemy with an ability generates a laurel. Picking up a laurel of your class has a chance to grant an additional laurel. Completing Strikes, Crucible, or Gambit awards a bronze medal. Completing Nightfalls, Survival, or Trials matches awards a silver medal. Cool. Eh, I got a bunch of these. Get a bunch of this. Still got stuff that I was working on from before. What? What do you want? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Metal case. Dupe. I'm guessing platinum medals, you get that for doing the raid or whatever. Okay, let's... Bosses defeated. Rocket launcher final blows. Ability final blows. Finisher final blows. Alright. Eh, I mean, I have a rocket launcher, so what the hell. Let's do it. Okay, how do I... What am I, what am I trying to do? A lot of those. Okay. Yeah, I've still got stuff I'm trying to do. <laughs> All right. Let us go. Europa. Nessus? What's on Nessus? What is this? Battleground Behemoth. I don't remember what this is. Vanquish the Cabal and prove yourself in glorious combat against her chosen. I think that's for a mission, so I might as well do that. Hey, that kind of matches my clothing anyways. Nice. Off we go! Callus's daughter, Empress Kaifu, has arrived in our system, hoping to reunify the Cabal Empire. We've spotted an Welcome back, scared dog. Tailing through Nessus. Welcome back, buddy. Something to do with Kaifu's efforts. I want boots on the ground for a closer look. I want boots on the ground for a closer look. Guardians. I want boots on the ground, Guardians.
Damn. The chips are making your nose runny? Why? You're not allergic to them, are you? Doodles. Where the bad guys? Hello. So you get laurels for getting melee kills. I can deal with that. Move. There's a thing on the ground. I can't pick it up. What be you? Oh, I picked up a laurel. I don't know how many of those I need to get. Oh, ooh.
This is fun. <laughs> I love this game so much. I really do. I press the button, I win! That's what this, this whole game. You press the button, you win. Kill, 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 and press the button. We believe a former Red Legion commander is on site, directing from the ground. This commander was a mere legionary under Gaul's rule. He personally pulled the trigger on a horrifying amount of lightless guardians during the Red War. He has since risen to become a warlord. Among the remnants of the Red Legion, and now that Butcher Once the remnants of the Red Legion. Divide leadership on the ground long enough for our scouts to determine what Keitel is planning. And perhaps get justice for the guardians he sent to their final deaths. You got it, Zavala. I'll do whatever you want, Zavala. You're my daddy. It's a lot like Call of Duty, but it feels a lot better to play than Call of Duty. Especially if you're playing it on PC. It's coming from someone who, like, loves Call of Duty. Like, don't get me wrong. The hell? Should have seen that one going. Give me all them laurels. The fuck? Who threw a Nova grenade? Oh, oops.
Dope. Right? Oh my god. Begin the rite of proving. Ooh. Oh, when that soundtrack kicks in, it feels so good! Pfft, I meant to put that in front of that rock. Oh, why are you immune? Of course. Just a second, my bad. Oh, curb stomped. Thank you, okay, I don't mind. Where did that guy go? Oh my god, die! You bullet sponge! Oh hey! Good job! Well done! I respect you. Who's willing to shed blood on the front line? That's easy to say when you're the one left standing. Oh my. Easy there, Saladin. <sighs> Gaming with Daniel, you heading out? <laughs> All right, man, we'll catch you later. You want to look at my chicken? How about my sword, eh?
I am frozen. No, no. <laughs> what goodies did I get? Wow. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Give me that power. UNLIMITED POWER! Doop doop doo 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 Oh, baby! Throw that into this, absolutely! That's fantastic! <gasps> A submachine gun! Yes! My favorite. I am a submachine gun fanboy. I love submachine gun. It's my favorite way to play. Season of the Chosen. Exotic Bow, Instant Unlock, Exotic Engrams. Very nice. So where's my... Where be my stuff? Okay. Ooh, they've got like lore journals now. Interesting. Neat. Cool. Is that it? Okay. No idea where I am. You're interacting. I know, SMGs just make me so happy. How do I? Yeah. Huh. Why do you sound like that, weirdo? <sighs> I thought the cabal was supposed to sound like this. Bruh. Oh, this is cool. Huh. Is this overlooking the hangar? The War Table Vanguard Operations. Dope. Well done, disrupting the cabal are necessary. Thank you. Empress Keitel has emerged as the new face of their empire and demanded I pledge loyalty to her. Our conversation here is one you might expect. Hmm. Thanks to the information you recovered, we know this. Former members of the Red Legion and other leaderless cabal are all competing for a seat on Keitel's War Council. In an effort to prevent cabal reunification, I'm assembling a team to take out her aspiring commanders. Lord Saladin will act as field commander and Osiris 
will report directly to me as my advisor. He's appointed a new hunter, Crow, to be your reconnaissance expert. Okay. Amanda Holiday will provide insight. Your task is simple. Defeat Keitel's commanders across the Soul System. Once you eliminate their leadership, Cabal infighting will prevent Keitel from amassing real power. If we miss this opportunity, another all-out war will become inevitable. Look. Cool. Look at all this stuff. War table rank 22, and I can get a ship. Okay. Uh, successfully complete a battleground. Submachine guns, I like that. Be powerful combatants. Arc energy, that's my jam! I'm all about that arc energy. Ha ha ha! I love it, I really do. Sounds like Osiris. If this is what it takes to make a difference, I'm in. I've had to walk these streets under the skies more times than you know. The hell are you? I am welcome. Soon you shall be Bro. Patience and caution. My guardian. I was in so highly of your assault. They think they're tanks. Hmm. Saladin will hold the line so our attention can be directed elsewhere. Names are needed. Examples. The Crow. At this point, Red Legion commanders are either brutes or braggarts. I guarantee you that's what's her face's brother. Okie doke. Okay. Can't do anything with that yet. What makes it so special? Because it's umbral. Don't even know. All right, whatever. I want to go shooting the stuff again. That's what I want to do. Umbral, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fragile prismatic lens. Okay. This is pick up a message from Tira Karn at the Umbral Decoder in the Helm. Uh, I guess that's here. Message cool in the hands of the cryptarchy. Okay. Fragile prismatic lens, a focused umbral engram containing reforged weapons from the Red War. What'd you give me? Something very powerful. Holy cow. I'm not a big fan of linear fusion rifles, but hell. For 242, I think I'll <laughs> It'll be okay. Nice. Ya ta 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 ya da da da. Ugh. All right. Well, that was cool. I 
What do I do? The Crow. Ah! He's even got like one of his eyes like shadowed. So edgy. All right. <clears throat> Let's throw some things in the old vault here. I'll throw you in there, I'll throw you in there. Yeah, we'll be okay for now. Alright, so what's the next quest? Challenges proving. Lord Saladin is waiting to brief you on the situation. Visit the war table at the helm. Okay. Really want to get back to shooting stuff. Made for settling scores. Perhaps of the Red Legion are competing to earn Kaido's favor. Just like her, their hands are tied by Oak Doke. Where do I go? Expires at the end of season 15. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, need to visit Varix. Check out what he's got for me. Guardians, yes. You are guardians. Do, do, do. Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh boy, all right. Varix, my man, what have you got for me? Is it good? It's very good. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do I need to wear this? Yeah. That is fine. Okay. Let us... Okay, what are our bounties? Beat combatants. Arc damage. 30 combatants with non-heavy ammo grenade launchers? I don't have that. Oops. Uh, 20 combatants with rocket launchers? Okay. Defeat three bosses and playlist strikes with your Guardian Games class item equipped. All right. Uh, complete three playlist strikes with your Guardian Games class. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's pretty much the exact same thing. Submachine gun, powerful combatants, arc damage, successfully complete a battleground. That stuff is for strikes. And... I don't have that. Snipper. Okay. This be what I'm gonna do. This be what I'm gonna do. Alright. Submachine guns first. 
We have to go here. What is this? Oh, the Technocrat. Yeah. Eh. Beat enemy combatants with or affected by stasis off of Europa. I don't like stasis all that much. Like, I think it's fine. I just... Me. I don't care for it. That bad? Wait, is this something I need to go to, or do I need to select it? Yeah, I gotta select it. Okay. That'd be fine. That sometimes happens, Kyle. Like, they'll... they'll Characters will be in two places at once. Like, apparently Osiris is on the moon and in the at the war room at the same time. <sighs> My favorite character in Destiny 2 is still uh, Failsafe. I love Failsafe. The Cade 6. All right, I bet this submachine gun is great. Ooh, this is tasty. Me likey. That was a bad throw. That was close. Load up. Oh, God damn it. Get off the screen. Hate that. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh, that is a good gun. Oh, daddy. Where's that last one? Over here. Into the depths we go.
Dope. This has got to be just a laggy nightmare for you guys. God damn it, move! Standing in front of me drives me nuts. Did I notice that only four or five are watching? I mean, it's been that way the whole stream. I think I topped out at like 10, which is fine. I am not a huge streamer. Tasty, 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 delicious, nom nom nom, food for the soul. Murphy, you just, oh, you just got done eating some tuna fish. Mmm. You wish I was successful. I mean, depends on how you measure success, but I mean, we're all walking the path, you know what I mean? Success is relative to where you used to be, not, uh, not to where other people are. Stop stealing my kills. I'm a greedy boy, I want them all. Oh, God damn it. I hate that. Cabal. Drives me nuts. You just be walking around. Like, I remember when that used to happen all the time on in D1. Dude, linear fusion rifles used to be essential to killing Gaul. Or not Gaul, uh, Callus. Ah! your ads. It's ridiculous. Where 
Where'd that guy just go? Oh. And that is why I love Titans. God, do I love Titans. Oh. They are my absolute favorite class, period. Like, so much so that I... Back in the day, I had all three classes maxed out. And since I got it on the PC, I'm just like, nah, I don't feel like it. I just want to play as a Titan. Titans. Different when you walked among them. Shared a meal with them. Well, I ain't gonna be sharing a meal with no cabal anytime soon. Oh, that guy's having fun. Ranked up again. All right. Oh, doke. You got cool things. Look at all the cool things you got. Nice. Oh, just ranked up again. I love it. Ugh. I'll take it, but gross. Can I go here, or am I already going there? Go get that engram, boy! I care, duality. Of course I care. Of course. Where did I- where do I have to go? Here? This is where I gotta go. Huh. In the store, you can decrypt it. Oh. What am I decrypting? You stole? Oh, the Eververse Engram. Reef made. I've seen that. You're forgetting I have to like dismantle these so I can get my shards. Presented to Xur or the Monument to Lost Lights to receive a reward. And only hold one of this item at a time. Okay. 
All right. Where are we headed? Seriously, where are we headed? I just need to go back to the war table. That's right. Aren't I already there? Yes. I'm a smart boy! What are you? Hammer enhancements? Hammer? Ugh. Goodbye, other rocket launcher. Hello, new rocket launcher. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's tasty. Give it that. Gotta get me some of that. Okay. Uh, forge challenger medallions from Cabal Gold. It's challenge blah blahs chosen warriors and battlegrounds. The hammer must be equipped to equ to acquire Cabal Gold. Do I have a hammer or something? I'm confused. Is it this? No. Whatever. Tribute chest one. Smash tribute chests and battlegrounds. Okay. Well, I can do that. <laughs> you ask every day if I have a specific date for the tutorial. I never have. Never in my life have I ever a specific date for tutorials. They just take a long time. All right. Okay, well, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. we've been streaming for about four hours. Um, we were in Valheim, if those of you have showed up, and this technically says it's a Valheim stream, and it, you know, quickly went away from that and into a Destiny stream. Uh, we are going to be playing Destiny 2 tomorrow, and on Friday we will be playing Fallout, and then on Saturday we will be playing more Minecraft. Um, I'm thinking... What I'll do uh, for the building on Saturday, um, I'm either going to continue working on a realistic One World Trade Center or I'm going to try and finish up Shanghai World Financial. Uh, it all depends. Fallout Friday! Yeah, I just want that to be a thing. Like, I just, I enjoy Fallout so much. Um, and I'd really love to try and get the uh, Minutemen ending. Yeah, it's good you get the schedule. We're just a day behind. That's all. Uh, so basically all I've done is just move the second Minecraft day to uh, the other one. Shanghai World Financial Center. Okay, okay, okay. I can do that. I can do that. I can indeed do that. Chest hair. Yes, I have some. I should I should have just said no. Like, no, nah, I don't have any. From the head, from the neck down, I have no hair. Oh my god. Okay, anyways, this was a lot of fun. Tomorrow we will be back with more Destiny 2, more shenanigans, and I will see you guys then, uh, and I'm going to to start working on the script for the tutorial, because you got to work on the script. Uh, I Also, I need to wait for a replacement for the... Uh, you guys should know, I got that new TV a little bit ago, and uh, the screen was broken. Uh in a way that was subtle enough that I didn't notice it until a few days after I got it. Um, 
So yeah, I, I sent it back and they are sending me a replacement. Uh, once that comes in, I'll be able to start because what I do, like my process for this is to log on to Minecraft on my Xbox and hop into the same world that I'm in on my computer and the computer character acts as the camera. So I just turn off the HUD and then I move Steve somewhere to get a good view of everything. And then I build it on the TV. So I build it using the Xbox and I watch it. I watch myself build it using the computer. Uh, what time am I starting? Uh, between 3 and 5 p.m. my time. So between noon and 2 for you. Kyle? Ooh, 3 Eastern. Eastern, Eastern. Eastern time. Yerp. I think I started at 4.30 today, 4.15, something like that. My time. It's like 1.15 for you. Uh, yeah. What? Was there anything else that I wanted to say? No, I got the replacement TV coming in soon. Um, I'm going to be streaming everything I plan to this week. Uh, next week might be a little tight because I am hopefully going to be uh, replacing the motor mount and the transmission mounts in my car. Uh, which will take all day to do, and I will be leaving town to go do that. Uh, and I'll keep you guys updated if anything dramatic happens to my car. Um, I don't think there's anything else really that I need to talk about. Oh, uh, <laughs> this was the, um, in case you guys didn't see it, hydration time! Ah, I paid $2 for that. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's funny. <laughs> be cool if you recorded you fixing your car. I mean, you it would just be me, like, under my car. Plus, I'll be with my dad and my brother, so I don't know if they're going to want to, like, you know, be on the internet. A couple of people that, like, I hang out with are like, yeah, like, I would love to play with you, but I don't want to be, like, live or anything. You cannot stop laughing. That's okay. That's okay. Like, I, I definitely know my brother wouldn't like it. Uh, I don't know if my dad would. And plus, like, always got to keep a degree of separation between, you know, your private life and the life you decide to put out on public display. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I feel like I had something that I wanted to say or some news that I wanted to give out. Oh, um, I don't think we're doing a build-off this month. Um, namely, just because everything's been going on. Uh, I'm trying to get, like, a good streaming schedule and a good, like, video production schedule going on again. Um, yes. So I don't know if there'll be a build-off this month. Um, but next month, definitely there will be. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas for that, like, feel free to drop, like, comment anywhere. Like, seriously, just comment anywhere. Get a hold of me any way you can. Um, the best place, though, would be the suggestion box on the Discord. Do I watch CNN News? I have watched CNN News. Uh, I'm not a fan of CNN. Yeah. I just, like, I don't really watch any mainstream news channels. Like, yeah, I try to go for independent news sources. Um, yeah. No, I don't think there was anything I needed to say. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep trying to find a, a 3080 GPU. I'm going to, like, it's a, it's a constant process. Um, I'm constantly trying to um, upgrade my rig here, so... You guys don't have to worry about lag during things and I don't have to turn the settings down so low in order for, you know, stuff to just be smooth. Uh, it's a process, but we'll get it figured out. We don't have to worry about that for too much longer, I hope. And 
the more we stream, the more content comes out to you guys, the better off this channel will be. Uh, I really do. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow with more Destiny 2. If there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know. Any games that are coming out, any games that you're really interested in. Um, I want to start playing some more story-based games because I miss those. Uh, the New Life is Strange comes out this year, and I'm really excited for that. I've also got... Um, Alan Wake and Control, which I want to play both of those really badly. Uh, a Plague Tale uh, I also want to play. Um, yeah. And uh, Night in the Woods. Like, I love indie games and narrative-focused games. Um, so yeah. Doomy? You guys want to see Doom? I, I can go back and re-download Doom. Which one? The first one or the second one? I'm not gonna. I'm not going to go and download the original Dooms. I played those decades ago and i'm just <laughs> i'm not gonna go back and play those like the original doom and doom 2 Ugh. like there's there's a there's a retro charm to them but it's it's just that's it's unplayable for me doom 3 was okay yeah but doom 2016 and doom eternal are badass i love both of those games did I say a bad word? Oops. I'm almost 30 years old. I use bad potty mouth words all the time. <laughs> all the time. And one of these days I'm going to stream with Brittany Smalls. Uh, she's a good friend of mine. Love her to death. And if you guys haven't uh, found her on Twitch and subscribed or followed her on Twitch yet, I suggest doing so very soon very very soon because she's awesome she has a great narrating voice <clears throat> what what on earth is it with you guys wanting to know if i have a girlfriend just just shush 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 shush, shush. and no britney smalls is not my girlfriend she lives in montana with her boyfriend his name is blake uh he sets up or he did, I don't know if he still does, but uh, he started something called Fall Brawl, which is like a fighting games tournament out there in Montana that has like a bunch of prizes and stuff. It's, they rent out these big expo centers that are really cool. Uh, he's flipping awesome. He and I go way, way back. And uh, if you can make a living with anything video games related, like it's just awesome. But yeah. I'm excited for it too. I love Destiny too. Like the three games that I play more than any other game are Minecraft, Destiny, and Fallout. Um, kind of like Fallout 4 probably the most, if not tied with Minecraft. Like Minecraft, it just takes forever to make those buildings. So like, it's kind of like it's my most played game on accident. Um, but Fallout 4 and then Destiny are like right behind it. Naval, we're just about to wrap up. Uh, I was saying that uh, it's going to take a little bit before the next tutorial comes out because I'm waiting on uh, a replacement for the TV that I just got. So I'm kind of sitting here with just my uh, monitors. I need the TV back so I have something to build with. But yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for stopping out. Oh my god. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you so much for coming out today. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow between 3 and 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Eastern U.S. Um, you guys have a wonderful evening or day, wherever the hell you are. Be a bean. The best thing you can be. Ah, thank you, Kyle. Trust me, more of these streams are coming. You guys remember when we were streaming all the time, uh, when we had like a schedule going and we had the OG crew was constantly in the stream. I'd love to get back to that level. Like doing series and stuff again. That was fun. Must be bean. Be a bean. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow.